Mayana from Honeyberry Stitching. I had a few people ask me um, to do a tutorial about how I make my floss organizers. They kind of look like this. Um, so I'll, let me just tell you how I got kind of inspired to, to make it. Because I had bought um, these Paco organizers which are really, really great um, because they kind of hold, they can hold, uh, I think they can hold 50 colors in, in one organizer like this. They come, they have these little plastic spikes there where you take your thread, you fold it in half. So there's a little loop that you attach the, the thread to and then put it through the slit and then it's easy just to pull out one thread and um, when you uh, and then when you're done with the thread you just place it back in and it's easy to go um, so that's why I was excited about this system but what I was lacking was kind of a place uh, to write the, the color number and maybe even the color, uh, the color, so the color code. Um, so I found them to be a little bit, there's not enough room and maybe I'm just nerdy like that. I just like to have uh, the number as well, just to be sure that, uh, that uh, I'm finding the right color. Um, so that's why I, was wanting to do these where I have, you know, the number, the symbol, and even the color printed out. So that would have enough space on this one. Um, so that's why I was uh, figuring out how to make these um, for myself. So I made a couple of different types. Um, I made some that has nails, little nails, and that just has this cork plate on the top, a foam part in the middle, and this is just normal cardboard for a, a box, moving box. You can also use other material, whatever you have that is kind of sturdy, uh, just gives it more stability. Um, so, so I made that one, then I made this one, which is not made of nails, but, you know, with normal, um, tags that you have for your bulletin board or whatever. Um, so they are wider, meaning you can, they are, they are, Better if you have more threads, I would say. Uh, but you know, it's all a matter of preference, right? As this is still with the same cork board, the same foam part in the middle. And then I have this, um, I, I guess it's called a poster board or something like that. That is just um, a thick board, very light, uh, but gives it some stability uh, on the back side. Um, so that's basically it. I will show a few of the things you will need. Uh, I will show some of the, 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 the sizes, the measurements, uh, you will need. And, um, I will show you how to do it. It's really simple. Uh, maybe you don't even need me to, to tell you how to do it, but um, I will just um, wait my because I have to make a few anyway. Um, so I was thinking just to do a little tutorial on that. Um, yeah, so I will turn the camera around and uh, get back to you. Bye. Hi, so I'm back to show you the materials that we will be using. For the top, you will be using this cork. I have measured out for this one that I'm going to make right now will be for 24 um, slots on each side um, and that will give me um, 
48 um, for, for 48 colors. So that would be plenty for the project that I'm doing. And um, for the top, you will have the cork that will measure 11 and a quarter long and three and a quarter wide. So that's for the top. For the bottom piece, you will have some kind of cardboard. Cardboard. You can even do like just uh, like I said before, like a moving box or something like that should be fine. It just needs to be a little bit thick. And you can also have this uh, poster board. So I just measured out the same. Um, so that will be 11 and a quarter and three and a quarter wide. So that goes on the bottom. And in between, you will need some kind of foam. And I just bought this from my local um, store. I guess it's for, you know, outside when you have a little kiddie pool, a swimming pool or something to lay on the, on the ground so it's a little bit softer. And this is, I would say this is about half a centimeter wide. It's about the same as, um, as the Paco. Um, so depending on how, how thick you want it, you just find whatever um, suits you. It, it's, I just have to find whatever I can hand, I can get here locally. Uh, and then of course you need, you need the nails or some tacks. If you use tacks, I would uh, recommend that you have a little bit more spacing than I'm going to do right now. So I plan on having spacing with one centimeter apart for all for um for the um, for the threads and um so that would suit my need fine i think if you are doing tacks for this ones for instance um i measured out uh, an inch per two so so this measurement is one inch um so just give it a little bit more spacing than than with the nails. Um, good. And then I already cut out the um, the um, the cork boards. Um, for the cardboard, I already measure it out, and then for that. I guess I'm gonna use this one because um, this knife will go easily through that. For the um, foam, I'm sure I can just use this and measure it or and and you know cut it out with my ruler. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, and then I will meet you here later. Bye. Yeah, I was, I was thinking just to show you how I would do this, just because I'm doing it anyway, right? So I will just cut it. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to use my plastic ruler for this. I have an aluminum ruler as well. Um, that might be a little bit better. So let me just grab that. Where did I put it? Here it is, so you don't cut into your your ruler. And you know, you can even reuse a scissor, right? I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let me see if I can break this. Nope, not yet. I'm wondering if I can even do it with my this one needs something that can go a little bit deeper. Hey, that worked out well. Okay, that worked out well. I will just do a second one. Okay, here we go. So 
sorry for all my back and forth. As you can see, it's all live here. Whoops. Okay. That wasn't as straight as I wanted, but one. And I'm, I'm just making two. That's why I'm doing this double. Okay. So for that, so I have these two pieces. I have these two. Put this over here. And then I want to measure out my foam. Let's see if I can do that in a smart way. So I will just cut off here. And then I want to measure out four and a quarter. I'll just make a little mark, four and a quarter. Because this needs to be, um, yeah, an inch wider, right? So, like that. I'm not sure if I, I'm sure somebody else up there would have done it differently, but that's how I do it right now. And if you can't see everything, sorry about that. All right. So. I will just cut that out. And then let's see how that works, right? So it'd be like that. I think that's going to be give me good spacing. Let's just cut this off. And measure the same width as this. Let's do it easier like this. That and then cut that out. Like that. All right, so now I have these three. Just put the nicest side on top, like this, and like this. So now is the trick to get this to kind of fit so it's kind of even on each side. Let's just turn this around. Does that look even to you? Like that. Yeah, that kind of look good to me. And you know what? I will just do a little marking here where I'm gonna put this afterwards because I need to take this off to glue it. So, so no where to put it. So I just use my glue gun to do this. It's been working fine. I. I'm not sure if uh, if you want to use a glue gun for this. I need my other glue. Some more glue to put in. But, I mean, it's up to you. Whatever glue you think is going to be good, you can just use. I'm just doing like this. Okay. And then put that on top. Yeah, that seems about right. 
I'm gonna turn that over. So I have my backing. So, oh, I'll just do the same. Come on. Like that. Some more glue. I mean, I would have preferred it to be white, but that's all I could find. All right, here you go. Um, now I would make a line for where I want the nails to sit. And on this one seems to be working well for me. So let me just measure it how far in I made those. Yeah, it's about a centimeter in. Uh, oh yeah, centimeter here. Yeah, it's about a centimeter in and I think that that would be, that will work well. So one centimeter in, I'll just make a little mark and then I'll make a line. I can measure centimeters on this one has both inches and centimeters. Um, so for this, I'll just do like this. And then, could I even see that? And I'm thinking I will just do like, put my ruler here just below that centimeter line like this because then I will actually just take my ruler line it up and basically just take my nails and just put them in And the thing is for this, you can just, okay, so I need 24 spaces, right? So that was my plan, right? So I can even do it a little bit further in. Oh man, I have a lot more than 20. So I want 24. So I can start a little bit further in, right? Okay. One centimeter. So I'll just basically put, you just put it until you can kind of feel it going through the board on the other side. Or how far in, far in you want it. It's, it's really easy to just take in and out. Can you even see this? Okay, I'll start in the middle here. I can feel it going through the board. I think. Nope, not yet. Okay, there it went in. So this is gonna be relatively small spacing in between. And you know, you can do it, like I said, you can space them out more. Um, 
this is just going to be working for me. For the project I'm doing. No, you might do a better job than me in terms of putting them in. So it's really just a question of Take your time doing it. All right, I will just turn the camera off and then I will finish it off. And I'll show you how it looks like. So now I have put all my little nails in. And one thing just to remind you of is when you do both sides if you want them to have them you know completely even out just make sure that you measure up uh, that you will have them you know even on each side so so when you put your symbols in that you can just line up the two rows of symbol exactly the same and your numbers and <clears throat> and whatever you are doing um and then, exactly, just a matter of cutting. And I, oh yeah, so I have here, let me see, two, four, six, oh, the total field size. Two, three, four, six, two. So I managed to have 27 on each side. So that's pretty good. That's 54, right? So, um, so that's that's a good project and i of course you can do it smaller bigger whatever you want um whatever your needs are right and i just i might take these two out and just so i can have a little space across here where i can write the name of my project you know what i'll just do that um because i don't have that many colors so and then you just line up where your nail is and you just cut It is super, super simple. So that is basically just what you do. And then when you have all of that, that is when you then start putting your threads in. I'll just take this one so I can show you how that works. So put your thread double put that in so like this and i really like that you have it's kind of a really long gap why um that is it i will um show you after when i well it's going to be no time for you guys but i will um print out my my color number or or I'm not really sure how to do that yet because it's all it's I don't have that as a PDF I have that all printed so I might have to draw and all of that stuff but basically what I for instance did here <clears throat> I basically just took so this was for the project stitch in time and I basically just copied in all of the symbols all of the numbers and all of the colors. You don't have to do it like this, right? I mean, it, it took quite a while to do that. You can even draw, you can um, do whatever you want. You don't even have to put the, the symbols on, I guess, uh, if you have the color number, that should be fine. But just remember, I would suggest actually to, uh, really to, um, to put in your uh, project name there uh, on top. So, uh, so you have that and um so you don't mess up your your organizers um yeah i will see if i can come back and uh so you can see all my finished thing maybe not with all the um thread attached to it because that's going to take some more time but at least i might try and put some of the the numbers and symbols in so you can see how it would look all right so I am now done with putting in the symbols as well. Uh, I just used, used some uh, normal cardstock um, that I had. Just drew in the symbols because um, 
This is from the Sleeping Press Princess, and I don't have this as a PDF. Uh, so I had to draw in all of uh, the symbols myself. So this is what it looks like right now. And um, I'm excited to get started on this project, which is gonna be my first Mirabilia. And I plan on doing a little um, new start with this one uh, pretty soon. And uh, hopefully that will be something you would like to watch as well. Other than that, thank you very much for watching this. Please subscribe if you would like to see some more. And anyway, hope you are all well and enjoying the summer. Yeah, until next time. Bye for now.